I know, but it's, it's but like every say, Ramadan I'm I say, say that's that's too superficial. I know, I, I got that. But I said, so that was the first thing in my mind, but I went yeah, more. Yeah, good. So, yeah. wait, 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 let me tell you something, because we've got about 15 minutes. It's the same what you're talking. There is a condition for you fast and to be accepted, you have to have Sahur, brother. How you told me you, you cannot be uh, prepared for a sport. If you start your fasting, yeah. there is no one. That's, that's, that's a condition, that's, that's a different story. Yeah, then you have to have even one I, date or even one supply. I don't think you actually have to. Before before you start. Start. Uh, that's, anyway, that's outside the topic, like we need to focus on the topic. You no, know, when you talk about preparation, I know, how are you going to start fasting without support? This, this is an example. <laughs> that's just an example. Yeah, I'm talking about strategy. Okay, but I don't think that's actually true. That's a different story. So, now that you have those steps, okay, it's time to dig deeper into each step. Okay, it's time to dig deeper into each step. Uh, let me write it a bit deeper. So the first thing is to say, okay, what phase? So phase one, and you can give it a name. What is phase one for you? Okay, so what, in my example it was the hungry phase. Okay, but for you, it's whatever it is. Okay, phase one. Stop, stop, step one, yeah. So you write it down, step one. Good, perfect. But um, now we're going to create like a table like this. Okay? With these columns, and then each phase is each is a row. Okay? With these columns, each phase is a row. So we're going to write it as a table now. So a different format. You can turn your page over to the next page. That's what I would do. Just go to the next, it's like flip your page over so it's nice and blank. And in that way you've got some room. To, mm -hmm. to, to write some stuff. Okay, so whatever phase one is, then the next thing is to think about what the emotion is or how do you feel during that phase. So what is the emotion? So what is the emotion? How do you feel during that phase? So for example, stage in step one, I might be excited. Okay, or step one, I might be disappointed because I just started and I, I realized I didn't know what I was doing. Or I might be angry, I might be angry at myself. Okay, oh, man, I'm, I'm alone and I'm unprepared. Okay, so whatever it is, you write down the emotion that you're experiencing at that time. Okay. So let's just do this all, let's everybody just do this for phase one only, okay? Inshallah, phase one only, and then you can you can do it for the other phases as you go. So let's call it hungry. So I'm gonna say I'm angry at myself because I realized I hadn't really prepared properly. Okay. Then the next thing is to say, okay, what level of that emotion? And it could be positive or it could be negative. So for example, if you feel excited. Okay, you, if you hit on at the beginning, you feel excited, that's more a positive emotion. Okay, if I'm angry, that might be a negative emotion. And then I'm going to give it a scale, okay? From plus five, from plus five, all the way to minus five. So during that time, I started off, and I might be angry, which is a negative emotion, so it's a minus. I'm not that angry though. So I might be, for example, a minus two. Does that make sense? So during that time, how do I feel? What's my emotion? What's my feeling? What's my emotion? And then at what level is that emotion? How strong is that emotion? From plus five to minus five. Okay? Plus five, or the pluses, it's gonna be something positive, like happiness, excitement, etc. Minus five is going to be something that's an sadness, upset, you know, angry. No. For the purpose of this exercise, yes. if you have two parallel emotion feelings concurrent, yeah. Am I reducing both to the single number, or can I, or for the exercise to work, do I put two separate numbers? Can you split those into two phases, or is it like, for example, you're hung, like let's say as an example, I'm hungry. I'm angry at myself because I'm hungry, but I'm also excited because that means I'm hitting the bottom. So I think that's a good example. So it's like one thing, but then there's two here? Yeah. Is there a way that you can split it into two things here? 
Or you can write it as two different things. It's fine. Is it like a face? Okay, thank you. You answered it. Taking you to the now? Is it like one face? Like one face will lead to the next, for sure. Okay. That's the whole point of it. Okay, the whole point is to identify this. The whole exercise here is to be aware. Awareness. Like like taqwa, right? Taqwa is awareness. When you have the awareness, then what do you do? What happens when you have that awareness? Tell me. When you have that taqwa of Allah, when you have that fear of Allah, when you have that awareness of Allah, what, what do you do? You act differently, exactly. That's exactly right. So what we want to do is understand and be aware of what we're doing so that we can change that. Okay, so we can act differently. Okay? And when you start doing this, then you realize, you know what, yeah. This is how I feel. This is the reason. This is the emotion. This is strong. It's weak, etc. The next thing to think this about... A, sorry, no. uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. This is applicable to like, any... Anything. Anything in life. Anything you think about. This is applicable on a day-to-day -day basis. You wake up in the morning. Okay, what happens? You're all daisy, you, know, you haven't slept properly. Right? Then you go, you, you, you get dressed, you have a shower, etc. You go to work, you have a coffee, you do a little bit of work, you have lunch, you, you, know, you do a bit more work, you go home, you have a fight with your wife, then you put your kids to bed, and then you have dinner, and then you stay up late, and then you sleep, and then you wake up in the morning, and you're all grumpy. You know? So like, right? or alternatively, you wake up, you're refreshed, because you had a really great night's sleep, you go to the gym, you go for a run, you know, you go to work all refreshed, you work really hard, you have a bit, bit of a break, you work really hard again, you go home, you go, um, you read some Quran, you go to a halaqa, okay, you have a, a, a nice dinner with your wife, and you have to you play around with your kids for a little while, and then you sleep early, and then back, you know, so it can work, it can work anyway. Okay, great. So then the next thing to think about is how much time you're spending, how much time you're spending in this space. Okay, how much time are you spending in, in this space? So I might say for my example, my hunger, pains, and all that sort of stuff, that might last me say two days. Okay, and like I said, this, this thing could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months, it could be hours, it could be minutes. that you can learn inshallah from today which is what do I say this is the last column this is the last column yeah it's supposed to be the other side I didn't put enough space what do I say what does that mean this means what is it that I'm saying to myself during this phase okay what am I saying to myself during this phase for example, during my hungry phase, and I'm really angry at myself, I'm saying, man, you're just, you're hopeless. Okay, you're just hopeless. You should have prepared earlier. Okay, that might be what I'm saying. You should have prepared earlier. It's constantly in my mind. You should have prepared earlier. You should have prepared earlier. Now you're hungry. You should have prepared earlier. Okay, that's on the negative side. The other thing could be, for example, if I was, if I chose for this to be excited, okay. What am I saying to myself? You know, this is a really, this is a really great time of year. This is a really great time of year. I'm constantly saying that to myself. If you, if you notice something about yourself, is that you're always talking to yourself. Okay, you're always talking to yourself. Something's always going on. Even if you try not to, okay, something's going on in your mind always. Right, it's always ticking over. 
hardly ever do you actually go completely blank. And even if you do sort of go blank, you realize you were actually thinking about something. You were actually saying something in your mind. Right? You're always talking in your mind. One of the most important things that is going on in your mind is what you say to yourself. Okay? What you say to yourself is extremely important. What you say to yourself limits you as a person or accelerates you as a person. Okay? It either limits you as a person or it accelerates you as a person. So I'm going to give an example just young from our youth. Let's say somebody, they, uh, they've got math mathematics as one of their subjects. What kind of, what kind of uh, performance do you think a person or a student is going to have if they're saying to themselves, I'm really bad at maths, or I'm really poor at maths, what kind of result do you think is going to occur? Yeah, bad result. 100%. Like, and it has nothing to do with the student's potential, and it has nothing to do with the student's real performance. It's all about how much they limit themselves. Because once you do that, you have to sabotage yourself. You have to say, if, I, if I'm saying I'm bad at maths, what does, what does that mean? It means I have to make that a reality. I have to make that into a reality. So even if I'm getting the right answer, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do something wrong to make it to something. Even subconsciously, you might not even, you might not even be a conscious thing, but subconsciously, what kind of performance do you think is gonna happen to a student who says, I can answer every single question in mathematics, no matter what it is? What kind of performance do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna do really well because they, they believe in themselves and they say to themselves, whatever question you give me, I'll answer it. I've studied, I know what I'm doing. Give me a question, I'll get it. True? True. Okay, so what do I say to myself? Incredibly important. I can't stress how much that, the importance of that is. Either it's going to limit you, or it's going to accelerate you and make you open and go out into the world and change everything. I think you have to be optimistic. Certainly, like, you want to be optimistic, okay? But at the same time, you have to be real. Okay, so this is why this is why this thing, this system is really really is a, is a good system. Obviously, I didn't create it. That's why I'm saying. It. That's why I'm praising it because I didn't create it. If I created it, I wouldn't be saying all the things that have been. Um, because it it becomes real. There's going to be some negatives and there's going to be some positives. Okay, there's going to be some negatives. There's going to be some positives. Come along. We had a brother with us earlier. No, we were really we benefit from this. Well, we you can teach him, child. Yeah, no, child. Um, no. Please, please. Repeat. Um, what I say to myself either limits myself, my my own performance, or accelerates what? My performance. Again, my performance. Thank you. Or li it's, you can say limits you as an individual, or accelerates you as an individual. So okay. It could be in, in the way of performance. It could be in the way of just your demeanor. You know? Like you could, for example, someone who says in a social set setting, you know, oh, I'm not very good at talking to people. Right? In a in a social setting, they're going to be like. I can't really talk to anybody. If I talk to someone, I'm going to be I'm awkward. You know, I'm awkward. Yeah, or you mind. can say, you know what? I'm okay. I'm just a, I'm an average human being. You know this. You know those people that just walk around and they can talk to anybody. Do you think they're saying to themselves in their mind, I'm so awkward. I'm so bad. I can't talk to anybody. No, well, they're not saying that. They're saying, hey, I'm good. I'm cool. I can talk to anyone. You know, it's all good. I can be that person. Who yes. Speak to anyone. <laughs> you have a question? Sure. What can I? How can I do for you? That's strong, man. That's strong. Okay. So once we get to this, once we get to this point, and then we work through each of our phases. Okay. Um, I'll fill out some just so we can kind of get an understanding. So let's say after I feel hungry, I'm starting to get used to things. So it might be like a plus a plus one, for example, that might last me say 12 days. Um, and then towards the end, I'm more excited, more happy, so I might get to like a plus three, and that might last me like the, you know, a few days, the last 10 days of Ramadan. On eight day, you know, I'm like, alhamdulillah, I did a, I did a lot, so I might go like to plus five because it's eight and everything's, everything's good. Um, and that might, that's going to last that one day. The next, say, week, I might feel really, really down now because I'm used to Ramadan, so I might say like that's a minus four, and that might last, say, for example, a week, and I start getting back up. So it might be like a, a plus one, and that might last me, say, another month or so. So let's say one month. 
All right, and then for the rest of the year, I've, I've kind of I haven't I've forgotten all about Ramadan, so I might be just like say a negative one, okay, and that lasts for say ten months. All right. Mm. I just did this quickly, just so I can, uh, just so I can uh, illustrate the next page. So you're just going to create a graph. Okay, you're create a graph. So this is time. Time on the y-axis. Remember back uh, really early high school mathematics. No, time is the x-axis. Yeah. So the x-axis. Did I say y-axis? Sorry. Oh, it's the x-axis. It's the x-axis. This is the y-axis. This is like the most simple thing ever. You see the mathematics that we did back at school. Okay. Right, so this is your emotional level. The y-axis is your emotional level. Okay, so that's going to be from plus 5, maximum plus 5, to minus 5. And this is time on the x-axis. Okay? So I started off saying... I went for a couple of days of minus 2. Now, if, if my scale here is the whole year, all right, what's two days going to be? Two days is like this much. So that might just last a little bit. I mean, sorry, it's not even that much. It's like even smaller. All right, and then the next phase, I'm a plus one for 12 days. So it might be like plus one for this year. And then the next stage, I'm a plus three for like about another, for the rest of the month. So let's say this is one, let's say four, let's say up here. I go for a little bit longer. Uh, and then at eight day, it's it's great, it's plus five, but that only lasts one day, so that's going to be a dot over the whole year. So again, this time scale, it all depends on what you're doing. So if you're talking about, like we said before, one day, that's going to be a 24-hour scale, because I'm talking about the whole year. This is 12 months. Okay. And then the next stage, I said, you know, for about seven days, it's really, really low, it's really bad, so I might ask you to just a dot again. And then for about a month or so, it's kind of like, running in, so it's a plus one. And then for the rest of the year, I'm minus one. So I'm going to say, okay. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to just draw this. What do I notice about this? What do you notice? Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. What else? Most of the time. Most of the time you're in a negative sign. Okay. Now that's useful. That's very useful information for me that I never really thought about before. So now I'm starting to notice. For the most, for the majority of the time, I'm actually down. So when I come to Ramadan, where am I going to start? I'm going to start even lower. Okay, yeah, I might be having some ups and downs during that time, but overall, the vast majority of my year is down. And what am I saying during that time? Okay, I'm saying to myself, you know, I'm not even thinking about it. I might say, you know, I'm wasting my time, or, you know, Ramadan's too far away, I'm not even thinking about it. Okay, so this now gives you a, a very nice graphical uh, understanding of your emotions throughout the year. And this is going to be very, very valuable information for you in your, in your attempt to have, or in your pursuit of awareness of that thought. Okay? What did you learn? What did you learn from this? No. It's from this that I can't evaluate myself. No. Good. What else? Yes. You have, you have, you have to try to stay up on, on, on this, on this. Positive side always. Okay, good. Now. Okay, very good. What else? Now. Good. Now, 
Yeah. Ramadan interrupts your own self talk. Interesting. Okay. The majority of the time, the vast majority of the time, is like you're down here. Ramadan actually like, yeah, jolts you or should cause some sort of a change in you over that time. Okay, good. What else? Overall, pretty much, that's what you're going to be doing. Okay? You're going to become aware of yourself. You're going to become aware of the emotion. So not only not only what you're saying to yourself. What you're saying to yourself, I, personally, I believe, is, is the most important thing. You're going to be aware of the emotion. Okay. Once you become aware of that emotion, like I'm feeling angry. Hang on a second. I'm feeling angry. Why am I feeling angry? I shouldn't be feeling angry. I should be feeling excited. You can change that. Okay. I'm feeling really angry. Well, okay, maybe I can feel a little bit angry, but I don't have to be really angry. And then what am I saying to myself? I'm saying to myself, you're like, you're hopeless. I, I need to be saying that to myself. I'm not hopeless. I'm all right. You know, inshallah, I'll, I'll do well. If I have that, that, uh, that work on Allah ta'ala, I can really move forward. Okay, so you can always, once you're aware of any of those steps, you can start to make changes in each of those steps. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So that's overall, inshallah, what we... Let me, just, let me go through it again, just to summarize what we've gone through, in short, more, what we've learned. And in your mind now, you should start to feel like there's new networks being forming in your mind. You're just starting to think, you know, you're scratching the surface. You're starting to think that this is something that you can start taking that mask off and really digging deeper. Okay? It's something also that you want to, whoever's with you, for example, if you're married, you want to let them be aware of it. Okay. The best way to learn something is to teach it. From what I, see, from, yeah, in just my very limited experience. So, whoever's with you like, might start to see that you're now. What's going on? You're, you're changing. You're, you're a bit different. You say, so, oh yeah, because I learned this thing called phases and cycles. So, for example, if you're married, you go to your wife. You say, listen, this is what I learned. Okay, what do you think? Okay. What do you think? What, what, what are your challenges going on? About? And she might say, oh yeah, it's because you know, I have to stand there cooking. And then you have a fight about that, how you know, you're not helping out in the house. And like, <laughs> but then all, all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, 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 we can, we can really work together here. Okay, we can work together. We can bounce off each other. We can understand what's going on. Okay. So understanding what our challenge is and going deeper okay, by removing that mask and really seeing what's underneath. Understanding that there are these phases. Okay, I'll go this page. Once we've once we've realized that and we've taken our that mask off, we can understand our belief systems. Okay. When we understand what our belief system is, we can identify what challenges we have based on our belief systems. When, when we understand what our challenges are, we can understand, we can go start to three and identify our phases, our cycles. Right? When we've identified our cycles, we can start to really dig deeper, okay, and understand each phase of that cycle each little area of that cycle more, especially in terms of our emotional, how, emo how emotional we are during those times, how long it will last in each one, and then especially what do we say to ourselves during that time. After we've done that, inshallah, and we've grafted, and we've had a look and, and had a, like a visual representation, we can now start to make some analysis, okay? And then we can start to say, all right, let's make some changes now. Okay, let's make some changes. Where can I where can I change things? The key for me, the key might be these ten months here. I can't be a negative one for ten months of the year. Like what, eighty percent of the year? I can't be like that. So I have to now work on this on this phase. I have to start making sure that I'm on the positive side. I have to make sure that now whatever I'm saying to myself now has become something that's to improve myself during that time. Okay. Any last comments 
uh, questions, what did you learn? I'm really interested to know what did you learn? Like, how did you feel like, did you feel like you learned anything big? Do you feel like you can now really cause a change in your life? That's, what, that's the kind of thing I want to hear about, yes? Um, my situation is, it's a little public, because I have a blog, and yeah. in Ramadan I blog, yeah. publicly. So, as I'm listening to you for the past hour, I'm realizing something I had missed for seven years, that every Ramadan I'm either improving or I'm screwing up. And I have a record of this. Yeah. And what I completely missed is Shawwal. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, leading up, yeah. and then what happens? I always just, just fall off because I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and uh, I don't go that little extra touch. No. And that's um, um, what we're talking about here. Uh, so this is very, uh, I can just say very helpful, and it's, this is a very useful and important tool um, that I don't know that people have the opportunity to learn because the closest I can think of in six, seven years is one or two khutbahs after Ramadan. The Imam might make some vague, big picture mention about how we shouldn't lose the lessons. And But this is a tool. This is, um, this is a, a Swiss Army knife, if you'll forgive me for... Uh, okay, you did Ramadan, now what? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. First, I feel like a uh, point of view is no challenging or dynamic Ramadan. The challenge is after Ramadan. No. For me, it's challenging after Ramadan because Ramadan is gathering people, like more taqwa, more iman, no. and then after Ramadan, everybody just disappeared, like no. I work and school, like now. No. I realize if you keep coming to the masjid, because as you used to pray at Ramadan, and pressure in the yeah. masjid, yeah. we can't be in the budget guiding the... For me, like, always after Ramadan, I feel like down, yeah. I get lost. Yeah. Because the people who I was around, yeah. not anymore after Ramadan. I like more challenging for the top one. Yeah. Yeah. So we might take that as like your challenge now to get people together. Get, get people together all with who you can go after Ramadan and keep kind of going to the masjid. Because I feel like Ramadan is... It's good because everybody together and see everybody in the masjid and pray and give us a lot of love. But after Ramadan, it's like, oh my God, there's nobody around me. So I can get this from Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, I get some information about we are wasting time no. after Ramadan. No. Around 10 months. No. And uh, just we have one month to manage all this. No. So you we can spread to, it out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, spread it out. Spread the love. Yeah. Okay. I agree. No. In Ramadan, you go higher. No. You, you, you get more positive. No. But but when Ramadan's finished, you you get you get more negative. Mm -hmm. So you should improve to to get even higher after Ramadan. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it's something to He's learning from his dad. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Um, there's other way people have to put the world to stay from the have to be this way to the world. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I mean, I'm just giving you an introduction to one particular method. Yeah. Okay. And then you might say, you know what? I might use some of it.